Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. At any point if you have attended a DevOps interview and if Docker was part of that interview, then you would have definitely come across this question of what is the difference between entry point and a CMD in a Docker file. Now both these instructions are used to run commands when we are uh, starting our container but there are some important differences that you will need to explain uh, uh, to the interviewer when this uh, question comes up. So this is a very common uh, question that you can expect uh, uh, in terms of your Docker interview. Uh, in this particular session, we will look at uh, what these entry point and CMD instructions are, how they work and what's the difference between them. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So both uh, your entry point and CMD instructions are basically used to specify the commands that you want to execute whenever we are starting a container. So both of these instructions can be uh, passed in your Docker file. And we use these instructions to specify the command that you want to execute, any command that you want to execute uh, when your container is starting. For example, uh, starting a service or uh, running a process, we can specify that by using these instructions. However, uh, they serve slightly different purpose and they have very distinct behaviors um, when we use them together or when we use them uh, individually within the docker file so understanding the difference between them is very critical especially for your interview process or for the related roles so basically understanding the use case uh, when to use entry point when to use cmd what is the difference between them how they operate it's very important that we understand that so first we will look at the CMD instruction understand what is your CMD and how it works so what's the purpose of your CMD so see I told you that we can use both entry point and CMD instruction in your docker file so if you're using both the instructions then entry point will become your default um, instruction uh, that gets executed and we can uh, use the CMD instruction to pass the arguments to the entry point instruction all right so um, CMD will help you to pass the arguments to the entry point instruction and if you've not specified the entry point instruction then CMD will run as the default command so whatever you have given in the CMD it will execute it as it is then your CMD instruction is overridable we can override the CMD instruction from the command line so that's the main difference you have between your entry point and CMD whatever the instructions that we give in the cmd we can override it from the command line when we are starting the container all right so the syntax would be cmd echo and then the instruction that you want to the, the statement that you want to print now this is known as your shell form and we can also pass it uh, in square brackets which is known as your exec form now you can use either of them that's up to you that's your choice um for our example we will use the exec form so let's look at an example for this how uh, you can work with this so log into my ec2 instance i'm using ec2 instance i i have um i already have my uh, docker installed in this machine and uh, we will create a new docker file here so we'll use alpine as our base image and then we will give our CMD instruction. So we want to do an echo, which is your print. And I want to print this statement. I mean, can you, um, whatever you want to give, that's up to you. But this is what I'm going to use. I'll save this and we will uh, build this image. So Docker build, and this is going to be my CMD image and then dot. So this will create our image for us. So I should be able to see the image over here. Now we will create a container out of this. So docker run hyphen dit and then the name of the image. So this will uh, start a container for us and we will list the container. Now you can see this has exited because we're just executing command. So docker executed that command and the container is um, exited right if you look at the uh, logs of this so docker logs you will see that whatever we gave in the cmd instruction it has executed that so this is what we have in the docker file and uh, we are telling that hey print this particular line and it is simply doing that 
that's basically what your CMD so what is a command that you want to execute when you're starting your container now the main point that you will need to remember with your CMD is that we can override this instruction all right so whatever the CMD instruction you have you can override it when you are um, uh, starting your container all right so let me show that here so this is this is the um, current instruction that we have now we will create one more container and uh, we'll use the same image and now what is the override instruction that you want to pass so i want to do an echo and let's say we will give this all right so this will start one more container for us and it will override the instruction the command that we have in the docker file will be overridden with the new instruction now if i look at the logs of this you will see that it has overridden so the first time it executed the default instruction that we had but now we are overriding it by passing the new instruction from the command line and it is executing that so your cmd instruction is overridable from the command line all right so that's your cmd instruction we can use it to uh, pass the commands and we can also override this instruction from the command line then we have your uh, entry point instruction of entry point is also used to um, execute commands um, when you're starting the container so the purpose of this is to um, configure a container to run as an executable and it is designed to run a command that will not be overridden so this is also used to execute commands and uh, run any command as an executable basically and by default this is not overridable unlike your cmd where we can override it from the command line uh, entry point is not overridable by default we cannot override the instructions so command is not overridden by default however if you still want to override it then we can use this hyphen f and entry point flag to override it we're not going to look at this um, in this particular session so here's the syntax so we can either use entry point echo and then your statement this is your shell form and this will be your exe form so again it's up to you which form um, you want to use i uh, will be using the exe form so let's see an example for this uh, so we will go to the docker file and let me comment this out so entry point and we'll use the same instruction I'll save this and uh, we will build an image out of this so this will be my entry image so this should create uh, another image for us and let's um, uh, create a container out of this so docker run open dit and we can see here the container is created and again whatever the instructions we have given it will execute that so if you look at the logs of this you can see it has executed it now if i pass any instructions from the um, uh, command line okay so let's say i'll say okay before i okay now what will happen here is in case of your entry point instruction so you can see here i'm not using any um, uh, command like echo in this case i'm just giving the uh, statement so what will happen is this will be passed as an entry um, argument to your uh, entry point instruction it will not override this instruction rather it will just append this to the existing command so let's run this and uh, we will see here so you can see the difference here so this was a cmd instruction where the command was overwritten all right but entry point that does not happen okay by default we cannot override it and now if you look at the logs of this particular container you will see that it has um, uh, passed it as an argument so we cannot override the entry point instruction by default however um, uh, we, uh, any instruction that you uh, pass will be appended to the existing instructions.
okay so the main difference would be cmd we can override it from the command line entry point we cannot override it from the command line all right now let's see how we can uh, use them together so if you're using entry point and cmd uh, both the instructions in a docker file together how does they work so the purpose um, uh, when used together so entry point will be the main command the default command and cmd will provide simply the parameters or the arguments to the entry point instructions all right so this is useful for setting up default behavior while still allowing flexibility so entry point will be used to uh, give the default uh, behavior and cmd will be used for the flexibility purpose so you can um, uh, change it you can override it based on the requirement that we have so here is an example so uh, the base image so entry point so this is my default instruction and then the cmd we can change it based on the use case all right so entry point that becomes the main command for us and then the cmd instruction becomes the parameter so whatever we give in the cmd instruction will be passed as parameter to the entry point instruction and you can override this from the command line and this will be default this will run always as it is so let's see an example for this um, we will go to the docker file and now let's say uh, okay let me give this here so cmd and um, let's say your channel is awesome all right so here what's happening is this will be the default instruction this will run always this will never change but then whatever the instruction that you're giving here will be passed as argument to this instruction so this will basically the output of this would be hello djr uploads your channel is awesome so this will be a parameter or argument that will be passed to the entry point instruction and you can override this from the command line so if you want to change this you can always uh, do it from the command line whereas your entry point is not um, overridable by default so let's uh, build an image uh, let's call this as combine image and i should be able to see the image over here and we will start a container out of this So this will start a new container so here this is a new container and if you look at the logs of this you can see here so this was the uh, default instruction and then whatever we have given in the cmd it has added as a parameter or it basically it has appended the entry point instruction and if you want to override it you can always do that so that's where your flexibility comes in uh, your cmd gives you that flexibility so let's say now i will give this is a test message and we will look at the log of this and you can see here my cmd instruction is overridden so by default your entry point is not overridable uh, whereas your cmd is overridable so that's basically how you can use them together so from your interview perspective uh, what you can answer is uh, the uh, difference the purpose differences so entry point um, sets the command that will always run unless you are overriding it explicitly so that's basically the default instruction and cmd is used to set the um, uh, arguments or the parameter that you want to pass to the entry point instruction then uh, how does it behave so entry point is not overridden by default however if you still want to override it you can use the hyphen hyphen entry point flag and with your cmd uh, you can always override it uh, by passing the instructions when you're running the docker run command uh, combination use um, allows setting a default command so by using the entry point we can set a default command and then we can use the cmd to provide the flexibility so that we can uh, change the uh, command when we are running the container so the first difference would be your cmd instruction is overridable uh, entry point is not overridable by default and the second would be entry point can be used to pass the default instructions and then cmd can be used 
uh, for flexibility uh, so that you can override the instructions from the command line based on the use case. So that brings us to the end of this session. Uh, that's the difference between your entry point and CMD. And like I said, this is a very common interview question that you can expect as part of your uh, Docker. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, you have a better understanding of entry point and uh, CMD. Uh, if you did find the video helpful, please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon for uh, notifications. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.